right now. You want to call it Healthy Holly Gate? Well, that's fine with us. Whatever you call it, it is getting bigger. We're now learning the Maryland Auto Insurance Fund made a $7,500 donation to Mayor Catherine Pugh's book company, Healthy Holly LLC, back in 2012. And as we learn more about this controversy and Mayor Pugh goes on indefinite leave because, she says, of treatments for pneumonia, City Council President Jack Young has now assumed the role as ex officio or acting mayor. He's had his first day in office yesterday. WMR2 News' Rock Roper is at City Hall for us right now. So, Mark, how does Jack Young say he plans to leave the city from here? Good morning, Christian. Well, he's hoping to turn the page on the Healthy Holly book deal controversy as he says he wants to bring stability to city government. And Young spent much of his first day on the job reassuring Baltimore residents he will be a good caretaker of the government while Pew is on leave. And after meeting with members of Catherine Pugh's cabinet, he expressed confidence that between city agency heads and council members, the people of Baltimore are in good hands. And some city council members echo Young's message of not concentrating on the negative controversy of the book scandal, but how to get past it and how to move the city forward. I think that that's up to a lot of people that aren't me and a lot of situations that aren't mine. Right now, I'm focused on move it forward. We will not allow the agencies to wither away or get sidetracked with this. We're going to hold them accountable because the citizens demand that the leaders show that somebody's still paying attention, and we have to do that. Do you think she should resign? I think that this issue has to be resolved permanently very quickly. And if Catherine Pugh does resign, Jack Young would become mayor through December 2020, and the council would then have to elect a new council president. Young also says that he would not seek a run for mayor. Rather, he seeks to return to his seat as city council president in 2020. We're live in downtown Baltimore. Mark Roper, WMAR 2 News.